Hey fellow drivers, welcome back to the MR2. Well, not the MR2, but a MR2. So, uh, as you know, I've been looking for a wheel for over a month now, and the search is not going well. And turns out it's actually a lot easier to just find another MR2, a whole car, as opposed to a wheel, because uh, people don't really like to break up sets of wheels, and it's definitely uh, difficult to find a single item. Whereas with cars, you don't really have that problem. You know, it's not like somebody is going to be selling a set of two MR2s. So what I did um, was find another MR2. And uh, it has a lot of benefits, honestly. This is a stock car, uh, which means I have no problems with, uh, you know, unwanted attention from the, the cops or legalities and uh, most importantly uh, the wheels aren't broken so I'm actually gonna pull up to a uh, kind of a turnout up here and uh, we'll do a little walk around and show you some things about the car it's got a turbo timer Okay, well, here it is. This is a 91 Turbo, and it's almost completely stock. So, like I said, it does have a turbo timer, um, and it is lowered. And I don't know exactly what kind of suspension this is, um, but for the most part, it's completely stock. Uh, you'll see it does have some wear up here. Um, I don't know if you can tell in the camera or not, but there's a little bit of fogginess in the painting. Um, but not bad. Uh, you know, overall the body is straight. I'm leaving the headlights up because I just like the way they look. Um, you know, there aren't a lot of cars out there with those pop-up headlights, so it's cool to just see them. And like I said, this is a stock turbo. So there's evidence of it. Got the badge got the deck lid which is actually pretty cool um, it's a little more retro uh, I will say I feel like it dates the car a little bit more I think the NA one is actually a little cleaner and uh, isn't so uh, recognizable as a 90s car like this uh, but this is pretty cool you know um, it, it's showing that it really is a turbo car inside We've got the storage compartment, which is cool. I've never had that before. And, uh, like I said, it's, it's like all stock, you know? So some of you might be wondering why I do this? Um, you know, like I said, there, it was just getting to be a lot of trouble with the other car and I might get some flack for this, but then again, the purists might actually like this. Um, you know, some differences between mine. Uh, this one has smaller brakes, uh, smaller wheels, of course, too. Uh, but the wheels are, uh, are not broken, so that's good. Uh, what are some other differences? Um, obviously, I mentioned the turbo engine lid. The engine itself, uh, let's go ahead and show you. see we have a stock 3S GTE in here. Uh, now this is making less power than my car by quite a bit, um, but you know, it is kind of cool to have a stock engine. And uh, yeah, 
that about sums it up. I mean, stock interior, like I mentioned. So, you know, we have the stock steering wheel and shift knob and stuff like that. Um, so, let me know in the comments below uh, what you think. And uh, I think it's time to get back in the car. Just kidding, it's right here in the shop. Getting an upgrade, but we'll talk more about that in another video.